Hey YouTube, wanted to show off a mod I did here to a Sega Genesis. A lot of people would like to do mods to their Genesis, uh, AV mods and the like, and uh, nothing really new or groundbreaking here, but uh, there is some new stuff that you don't typically see. If you flip the Genesis around here, you'll notice there's a couple of new connectors that aren't there. Now a lot of times when people do an AV mod, they'll, they'll drill holes over here and mount the connectors back there and it's kind of annoying because when you do that this top shell is different from the bottom shell so when you open it up you have wires running from the top to the circuit board which is attached to the bottom shell it just makes it harder to work with so I wanted everything on the bottom shell and that's what I've done here so if I come in here you can see you've got the standard power connector you've got the default proprietary audio video connector and then right here, there used to be the RF connector. Right here was the RF jack, and then this was the hole for the channel 3, channel 4 select. And I took that RF can out, and I put this S-video connector in, and then in the hole for this, I put a composite video connector out. And then also here is the, they called it the EXT port, and I desoldered that, and my original intent was to have the audio connector here, but this opening ended up being too large, so I ended up having to drill a hole and put it there. My original intent was to not have to drill any additional holes, to just mount it using the existing holes, but that didn't work. If I had to do this again, I would probably glue this onto the circuit board right there, and then it would come out that hole, but this is what I ended up doing, and I think it's kind of nice because you don't have any of these holes or odd connectors over here coming out the back or sometimes people like to put them out the side of the Genesis and I just think this gives it a much cleaner appearance. So yeah, just wanted to show that off. Um, if you check the links below, I'll, I'll put some links to a blog where I have a lot of detailed pictures of the inside of the Genesis where I show how I wired it up and circuit diagrams and all that. Yeah, thanks for watching.